We're here at Leeds Rhinos Training Ground with Stevie Ward, Loose Forward and CEO of Mentality Magazine. So Stevie, you've been able to experience so many highlights. You're one of the youngest players to have accomplished so much so far. And you've been successful enough to, you know, be able to be part of the England team and do all various different kinds of things. So tell us what inspired you to start Mentality Magazine. I had like a bit of a... A realisation that like, I guess on the physio table when I go in at 8am every morning and lying on the physio table in the same position I had done for the past two previous years on and off. Um, I'd be in this kind of cycle where I'd be fit, you know, I'd be playing really well and then I'd kind of, I'd win something and, and do something amazing and then I'd come right back down and get an injury and then after a massive stint of rehab again, get back, you know, play well, do it again and then it up again. I'm like, well, probably time to jump off this cycle now um, mm. and look at something else as well as rugby because you can't just pin everything on rugby because like I say stuff happens that you don't plan for. I've, I've got a good rapport with, with my doctor and um, it wasn't anything um, it wasn't anything medical or anything like that you know I said to him I'm feeling a bit anxious here you know I'm, I'm, I'm training and I'm in rehab and it feels like it's you know it's not coming as quick as I'd like and he recommended a book to me. It's it's by Tim Ferriss called The Four Hour Work Week. And and what this book does, it it's like it it, it outlines perceptions, um, what people have of everyday life, and puts them as you know, it's it's misconceptions really, mm -hmm. stuff which conventional life will tell you that, that you've got to live by, but in reality you don't. Mm -hmm. So I read that. And it kind of and it kind of it kind of show all that, and it's shown like versions and examples of of people changing their lives for the better and, and thinking outside of the box, I guess. So I read that book and it gave me a lot to think about. And then I saw, I went to Banyan. It was the, the opening of Banyan in Leeds and all the lads went down, we all had a bit of a, a feed. And there was a girl called Laura Bartlett there who runs House of Coco magazine. Anyway, I got chatting to her and she was talking about how she did it. You know, she's a girl from Leeds and, and she's done really well. Um, and she, she kind of gave me the idea to do a male's version, um, but obviously I wanted to put a different twist on that to try and change people's perceptions and broaden pers perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what mentality was, and I, I felt like I needed to broaden people's perspective across the board, you know, for fans and for people that, that don't know the ins, ins and outs of the game, but also for what pit goes on in... A millennials mind you know people around our age you know it's changing the generation's changing it's not the same as it was 50 years ago and it's not going to be the same in 50 years so it's kind of addressing that and putting a stamp on on how people can be around this time and and hopefully you know it's not going to be perfect for everyone just like anything isn't but hopefully it offers a platform for people to look at and be inspired and, and kind of relate to I guess it was a kind of an outside of the box thing that, that led to me trying, you know, kind of coming coming through it. You know, I still have, you know, I still have rough days. I still have down days or whatever. Yeah. Um, but you know, to to be able to do something like that and cut through the fear, which, you know, I, I think that you've got to dare to do stuff that people just just don't even think of. Otherwise, you know, you're not you're not cutting through the fear. You're just living in that kind of cycle, which. Which I guess people, you know, I can relate to my story, you know, my story was going through that cycle, which was being a rugby league player, fantastic, brilliant, you know, doing stuff that I've always dreamed of, yeah. but there was that other side of the coin, so I'm going through that cycle, whereas people may find that, that in everyday life, you know, they, they may, may be in a nine to five job, going through this cycle where they're not finding any outlet for, for their drive, for their passion, and they're not thinking outside of the box, and that's exactly what I think that that book kind of pushed me on to do and and what I made myself do I absolutely made myself do it just because I wasn't doing anything amazing on the pitch I wasn't playing I wasn't training with the boys that much I needed to do it so it's I suppose an alternative way to to look at that and even if you know that fear's there and you know that pressure's there you've just got to do it because you're going to stay in that same thing. So what advice would you give to maybe those people out that there that are feeling similar things to what you felt, a lot of fear, maybe anxiousness. What what advice would you say? I just you just got to look at something different. I mean, I mentioned that book again, Tim Ferriss, Four Hour Work Week. You know, some of the 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 symptoms or causes for why you might be feeling like that. You know, maybe maybe worsened or caused by you know 
being in situations that you don't want to be in or you can mm -hmm. try and change and at least try and change them.